This is San Lorenzo's SP110 and this is an absolute beast. It's incredible. It's a serious high performance machine. Now San Lorenzo do a whole range of super yachts and if you want something for comfort and distance and maximum accommodation, well, they'll sell you that. They'll do you one from their SD range, they'll do you one from their SL range. But if you just want fun and performance, you need to be looking at the SP range. This is the SP110 and it is just a remarkable, remarkable thing. It's, it's wonderful. So I'm going to take you on board of this and give you, of course, the full tour. But yeah, stick me with this, it's spectacular. So we're going to enter here. We've got the drop down platform here, as you can see at the end. That pivots here and comes up flush against the transom. Um, engines are under here. Engines are big news on this, and I'll show you those, of course. But we're going to head inside as ever, first of all. Now you can see that this boat's laid out for sports and fun and being out on the water and just having a great time because you've got this massive beach club area here. It's just absolutely fantastic. Loads of space, you have all your toys laid out, just a great party zone. But check this out, right next to it, you can drop into here and you've got bi-level living because there's an area up there which we'll come to, but we're gonna head down here first of all, after you, no problem. No. No. Gracias. So this is the extension of the beach club, effectively. It's just a fabulous zone. You can come down here, chill out. You can close these doors across the back if you want to, of course. It's all air-conditioned. And what you've also got down here is the accommodation. This beautiful Eames chair. That is a magnificent area. As I say, it's really important to remember this boat is not about maximum sleeping on board. It's about maximum fun. So for a 110 foot boat, that's how it's configured. If we go into here, this takes us into the accommodation areas. So if we wander down through here, we will find there's a cabin here. These, of course, you'd imagine are all en suite. So that's in through here. And then what we have is the toilet is there, so that closes off obviously, like so. And the loo is in there. And then just behind me, we've got the shower. And then this closes off, should you want it to. So that's one of the cabins. Let's go a bit further. There's another one on the other side. Like so. And then again, ensuite here, toilets in behind here. Lights off at the moment, but nonetheless, you can see it. And then we've got the shower on this side. So those are the guest cabins. If we go forward again, we'll find a VIP guest cabin here. It's four cabins in total. So this is a larger one. I should point out that this is uh, TVs are built in behind these mirrors here and they have wardrobes. I'm going through this one fairly quickly because the show's open. We were supposed to do this earlier. For one reason or another, it didn't happen. There we go. So I did say I would be super quick on a dash round because I desperately wanted to bring you this one. It's one of the reasons I've come to Cannes. So we've got shower there. And again, we've got the loo in behind there. But I say I am going to keep pushing on, on this one. It's a big boat anyway, and there's a lot to see. So we come around here. This then is the owner's cabin. Biggest of the lot, obviously, really good size. And then you've got dressing area in here. There is a light in there, I'm <laughs> quite sure it is. There's a escape hatch in here as well, by the way. So in case you're wondering, there is other ways out of here in an emergency. And um, yeah, if we head on forward again, of course, we'll find the ensuite to this cabin. There we go. And the shower and no toilet. Bear with me. <laughs> okay. Aha. You see? See, you can use refined. You can tell it's the, uh, the owner's cabin. It's got a bidet as well. So that is uh, the accommodation on the lower deck. We're going to head on up because there's loads more to show you. So back round here, back round here, back down here. And that's right here. As I say, if you want a load more accommodation in your 110 foot yacht, you can have it. You just opt for another ranges. But this is 
the Lamborghini of the range. This is all about low, sleek, high performance. And we'll come to the engines and explain that in full because it's interesting. Look at this. Another fabulous party zone. It's just amazing. It's all super well lit, big windows. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. And very sleek. Look at this ceiling on here. It's just beautifully done. Dining table is here for all eight guests and you've got sliding side doors. You get a lot of air through here. What we're going to do is we're going to head forward. There is day heads in here. This closes off. There's a doorway here. And then we have the galley in here. Obviously, you know, the refrigeration is down at the end. He says. <laughs> here we go. Yeah, there we are. So all that kind of stuff is there. And there. This boat is in use at the minute. It's fully crewed and they're all on it. So we're having to be a little bit discreet about the crew area. I am going to show it to you, but uh, just a part of it. So we've got the helm station here. There's a lift bolster, so you actually can lean against that or you can drop that down. Seating area here as well, like a little mess area for the crew. This is their own area. And then you've got the displays up here, which you can configure however you want and we'll head out that way in just a moment. But we've also got the crew area here. There's a doorway so the crew can come and go without going through the accommodation if they wish to. And this takes us down to the crew area. As I say, the crew are living on board at the moment. So the captain has very, very generously allowed me to film his cabin. And that's in here. So single bed, there's a desk that folds out so you can work here. There's a toilet, there's a shower, and so forth. But what you've also got down here then are two more cabins up here. They've both got twins in, uh, and they've both got uh, obviously toilets and showers and so forth as well. Laundry facilities also down here, as you can see. But I did promise I wouldn't go into there, so I won't. Okay, let's come back up here. We'll have a look around the decks, and then we're gonna take in the engines. So, we'll come out this way. Fabulous area up here on the bow. Look at this. Imagine luxuriating there. That's just fantastic. Got the bimini, as you can see, for a bit of shade. We are down in Cannes. And it's gorgeous. These actually lift up. They're like gull wings, so you've got storage under there. It's a practical boat as well. And that table, as you can see, will drop down and, uh, and make that into a sunbathing area if you wish. And you can take that centre section out so it's easier to get in and around if you want to. We'll carry on down this side. No, we won't. We're going to go on this side, and I'll tell you for why, because there's another area, a little secret hidden area, that I also want to show you, but it's accessed on this side deck. So that's back into the wheelhouse. That's back into that amazing upper saloon area. And this here is a little secret staircase, because this closes off completely, that takes us up, and what you've got is another sunbathing area, but also a little helm station. This is really just for docking the boat. So you can stand up here and you can really see right in exactly what you're doing. It's all joystick control on here. Bow thrusters up here as well. And those are all solar panels. That's a six kilowatt hour of power coming out of those solar panels. It's actually got lithium batteries on here, 120 kilowatt of lithium batteries. You can run the boat for hours with all services, air conditioning, cooking, the lot going, I think for four hours, without running the generator, which means that people are swimming around the boat, of course, there's no generator fumes. At night, you can run it overnight, obviously when you're not doing the cooking and that kind of stuff, the really high draw stuff. You can run it overnight without the generator. Again, so it just keeps everything super, super quiet. So the last thing to talk about, and possibly the most important thing to talk about, is engines. And these massive vents here, and they're not the only ones, give you some sort of clue as to the kind of appetite these things have got and the performance they produce. So we're going to go back into here. We are going to drop down here. And we'll find a doorway tucked away. These are almost hidden. Look, there's a little push thing there so you can get to them. That opens like that, takes into this area, and then there's a watertight door here, you can see, that closes across. This is open at the minute so we can get in here. And this is what this boat is all about. Now these are three MAN LE 
495 engines. They are 2,000 horsepower each, and they're driving through water jets. We'll take a wander down there in a minute. So the headline figure for this boat, and this is what makes it a super yacht Lamborghini, is the fact that this will crack 40 knots, 110 foot, 40 knots, it's unbelievable. It'll actually cruise at 34 to 36 knots, that's faster than most super yachts of this size will ever get to. And even at that speed, you've got 400 miles of range. It's astonishing. It's a serious, serious high performance machine. That's what this boat was all about. Having fun, getting places quickly. It's just amazing. We come right down here. You can't really see them, of course, because they're through and out of the boat. But yeah, right at the back there, you can see the, <laughs> the water jets firing massive quantities of water out. They suck water up and then through an impeller and out the back, and that's what gives it incredible performance. There's no drag from the propellers and rudders and things. It just slips through the water and clocks up some seriously high speeds. Look at these engines. This is incredible. Just incredible. And that is about the size of that. Remarkable. Okay, let's come back out of here. I did promise these guys I'd be super quick. I say the show is open. We were supposed to film this before the show opened, and they're keeping people off it so I can film it for you guys with an empty boat, which is really, really kind of them. There we go. That's it. Let's come back up here. I am going to finish off over here. Look at these speakers. I think these retract. Remarkable. And that is the San Lorenzo SP110. That is a Lamborghini Super Yacht. Huge, huge thanks to San Lorenzo UK for organising that tour. Really appreciate it. Let me know what you think of this one. As I say, it's something very different and it's a seriously, seriously high performance machine. We'll catch you on another one of these real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.